Afternoon Zanzi and a very warm welcome to you. My name is Felisa Dembe and welcome to Afternoon Express. Now it's a Tuesday cook along as we building up to the Easter holidays. So I had to call on the big guns, you know the heavy hitters in the kitchen. Welcome to the loft, Chef Dumi. Well, thank you very much, Mama. It's always great to be here. Home, I mean, Afternoon Express kitchen is my home, so. I'm telling you, Queen. <laughs> now listen, I am ready for all of the sweet treats that Chef Aisha, welcome to the loft, has up her sleeve. Now, Chef Aisha, you seem to just be a lady about all the sweetness. Not only yes. do you look good, girl, but everything you make in the kitchen tastes even better. I mean, welcome yeah. to the loft. Thank you so much for having me, and I'm excited to be here. Girl, tell me, what is on the menu? So today, we have got something so simple, so easy, and for anyone who's not, you know, looking to spend some time in the kitchen, the whole recipe is a bit of a kitchen hack. We've ah. got a custard uh, lamington cake. Yes. Chef Aisha, you're definitely going to be putting me to my paces. <laughs> definitely. Because I've never tried this recipe. Oops. So what do we need? So for this one, we've got a, we've got a lovely vanilla loaf, but by all means, for anyone who wants to actually make the cake themselves, mm. go ahead. You can do it with a chocolate cake, a red velvet cake, any cake that you want. But again, like I said, this is a kitchen act, so for those who do not want to be in the kitchen, by all means, go ahead out to your nearest grocery store and pick up a store-bought sponge. I love that. Yes. that that's me. I'm, I'm <laughs> Okay, yes. and then once we've got our sponge, then we are going to be using our Clover Classic Custard mm. and our coconut. Roll everything together with some nice berries and some cream, and we can have a luscious dessert at the end of this. Girl, I am ready <laughs> for it. Some Zanzi, please remember, just head over to our Afternoon Express website to get the all the recipe details and ingredients to be cooking along with us. Now, as Chef Aisha has said, yes. we're ready. You're about to put us um, from step one all the way to yes. the very end because we want to make sure that we get this recipe as close to perfect as possible. What I'm going to ask you to do in the meantime for me, please, is we are going to be whipping 250 mils of cream mm. to a nice stiff peak. And then our key ingredient in that once it's done is folding in just a little bit of that Clover Classic custard mm. to give it that extra taste. Love that. I'm yes. here for it. And then you and I are going to be on this side. Yes. Okay, perfect. So I am going to, let's move this out of the way. And then we are going to be starting with this. Okay. And then do you perhaps want to exactly that? <laughs> Get some berries going for me, please. I mean, the one thing I love about your recipes, Aisha, is yeah. they're very simple. Yes, they are. Not I only simple in terms of assembling the dish, but also, but also simple in terms of ingredients. Yeah, preparation. I was counting as you were mentioning them. Like, that's literally five ingredients. That is five ingredients. One hand. You know, sometimes <laughs> I feel like when it, you don't really want to be spending a lot of time in the kitchen. Is this one of my custards? Yes. Okay, cool. This one. Um, you don't want to be spending a lot of time in the kitchen and mm. you want to make things as simple as possible. Yeah. These days, people, we don't have the time, mm. you know, and that's exactly what I am about. Um, unpretentious recipes is basically <laughs> what I'm getting at. So, in a bowl, we've got some, the Clover Classic Custard mm. and we are going to be making just a little bit of a syrup. So, we're adding some hot water to do this. I don't know if anyone knows or loves lamingtons. Well. So chocolate lamb. This is basic. <laughs> this is a version of this. That's Please what we're just doing. Break down that dessert yes. for me, essentially, because a lot of people they might be trying it yes. in South Africa. We've got a lot of very different variants of the same food. Yes. And got <laughs> I know that exactly what that is. So do you want to break down what that lamb is? And as is. you said, it's normally chocolate. It's normally yeah. You can do it with chocolate. It's traditionally a chocolate one. So it's a lovely light sponge, um, vanilla sponge, mm. and then enrobed in this good chocolate syrup. So it's icing, sugar, and butter, you know, and cocoa, just warm, melted together. And then obviously we roll in the sponge. The sponge, and then you roll that in the coconut. So for us um, here, we're not making a chocolate one. No. I can see dumi has got the berries there on yes. deck and those beautiful edible flowers. And we're using coconut. So yes. essentially, what flavor or, or flavor profile can we say this? If we were to name it, yes. what would it be? I'm going to go with a classic vanilla lamington cake. Mm. Mm. Cool. So that's our first layer that we did. But it's, it's a bit of a messy job though. <laughs> <laughs> but I always say if you don't get your hands dirty then, then you're not doing it. What are you doing? No, then, then you're not doing that. this properly. I was going to say, Pali, I don't know if you remember because me not growing up, there was something called a red cake that yes. we used to eat. <laughs> yeah. And it was basically similar to that, a, a round sponge. Yes. It was basically a nice little round sponge that was cut in half and then this process was done. But it was red and it was filled with some buttercream uh -huh. and then we used to enjoy it. That was 
like for me when people were eating fancy desserts, me not growing up, uh -huh. that was my dessert. <laughs> Do you know what we used to call it in Durban? And what? you know, some Zanzi, correct me if I'm wrong, but what you're describing, we used to call it a snowball. That's exactly what I was <laughs> you saying. Know, it's snowball. a snowball. <laughs> yeah, so the snowball is usually like, it's a cupcake shape. Yes. If it's not red, then it's, you know, this pink, pink color. Yeah. Yes. Filled with cream or jam, strawberry jam mm. or apricot jam, and that's what we used to yeah. do it with. Mm. I love that. And as you can see over here, my I'm um, slowly starting to stiffen up here. Just um, a little bit creating less. those stiff peaks that you were speaking about. I mean, to me, is this the right consistency? And can I start adding in my clover classic custard? Girl, you actually need to go in harder, like <laughs> you whip that. You need air to whip into that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was doing so well. No. Okay. So the whole so, idea yes. with whipping cream, um, I don't know if you use this yes. uh, trick as well, Aisha, but whenever you're whipping cream, it is always important to use cold cream. Yes. Straight cold from cream the from the fridge. And if you don't have cold cream from the fridge, uh, what there's a nice little trick also putting it over an ice bowl. Yes. So if you've got a little bowl of ice and then you put the, old, the bowl that you're whipping the cream in on that and you can go to town on that. Yes. It works. It goes so quickly and you get nice stiff fluffy peaks, which is Perfect. what we want here as well. Awesome. All right. So I've cut up the berries yes. for us and Palisa is getting her hands. <laughs> She's getting an arm workout for us. <laughs> yeah. Well, clearly you ladies yes. are trying to hint something, but if it's all about a healthy lifestyle, I'm here for it. If it's about me getting active again, I'm here for it. Even if it's in the kitchen. Anyway, we can get it. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, yeah. we can get it. So in, es in essence, what we're trying to do is you're trying to whip some yes. air into that. So you can actually use a, a whipping motion where Pali eats you just, just yeah, lift. <laughs> she's like, I'm open. It. Look, guys, I love Palissa. She's one of my favorite people on earth. So I'm going to finish, finish this. <laughs> See, this is why I keep me around. I got to love my queen. Yes. So essentially, let's show uh, me the, the yes. actual nice technique. Yeah, technique. It's all about well. the wrist or? Yeah, so the trick we learned in chef school mm -hmm. is that you basically want a figure eight. Yes. So I'm whipping in a figure eight motion here. Okay. What also people need to take into consideration whenever whipping, it's not about force. No. Like a lot of people no. are like, <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you take it too far, you're going to end up with butter. True, yes. you know, and if you don't whip it enough, oh, then it becomes yeah. runny and it becomes and then, a sauce ugh. in the center. It's a whole process. And especially since we're adding something that's a little bit um, liquefied Correct. to that. So you want a nice, stiff, fluffy peak. I Correct. love that. Yes. I can literally see, see that figure eight that Dumi was yes. talking about yeah. that she's creating within the cream. And that fast-paced motion, adding that air is definitely making all the difference here. I'm seeing the stiff peak starting to mm -hmm. form and it is it's quite a different um, <laughs> consistency <laughs> to when I was doing it. Granted, I'll give you that. Okay, it's fine. So if you can just tell the difference yeah. before I go into stiff peaks, it's it's already almost yeah. there, yeah. you know? Mm. So as to, what we're saying stiff peaks, we mean it's not uh, folding over. Mm -hmm. It holds I mean, its shape. It holds so I'm just going to whip it just important. a little bit more. Just a little bit further. Yeah, and at this point, most people would actually start adding the sugar if they want to. They add icing yes, sugar. Yes, icing sugar or pasta, pasta sugar, sugar. Or to make a nice chantilly cream or a um, little bit of vanilla. Delicious. That's that sounds good. Yes. That sounds really I'm good. I'm going to do the trick in front of you guys, and I hope you guys oh, allow me. Oh, no. Just I as know long what as you don't get me dirty, honey. <laughs> not in this cute outfit. <laughs> Fingers crossed for this. If it's whipped right, then it won't. Uh, you can hold it over your head for three seconds. So let's, let's go. go. One, One, two, two, two three. three. Over your head. <laughs> over your head, do <laughs> Just a little <laughs> from the face. It's always <laughs> safe, rather safe, safe than safe. You told me was holding it here. I'm it. Okay, I love that. Yes. So from there, you're going to add just a little bit of custard. Just oh, yes, some flavor. That's why we're not adding any sugar because mm. we, I mean, we don't want it to be too sweet. And the taste of the custard is, this is enough? already. I keep going, girl. Keep I going. keep going. I love it. I'm here for the decadence. Yes. I think we find there. Perfect. And then we're just going to give it again the same motion that uh, Tumi showed you. Nice. Mm. You know now. <laughs> you know you something. You know now. When sure. the it's time for the exam. Yes. <laughs> Figure eight, girl. You're doing, you're doing yeah. well. Yes, yes. girl. <laughs> All of a sudden, you start questioning how is it eight? What is an eight? Well, what's an eight, 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 eight like? <laughs> Okay, but essentially, this is the idea. Yes. yes. So you went there with that, and you also see that the color now starts to change. The color is nice, definitely uh, luscious, changing. golden, yellowish. Almost looking like a lemon meringue. Oh, it's something similar to that. Mm, okay. Now, ladies, it's assembling yes. time. It is. It really? is. What we are doing now, we're just going to be layering a little bit of that delicious custard cream that you worked so hard yeah. for. <laughs> just a little bit of that. And you want to, it's an option for you if you would like to create a layered cake. Mm. The other one as well is if you just dip the whole thing and you could leave it as a whole uh, sponge or loaf or whatever it is that you're mm. working with and then just serve it and you can mm. fluff it up on top, add some berries, you know, make it look 
Make it look good, a nice tea time treat. I love that. Yeah. So we're going to add just a little bit of this. So Aisha, when we yes. were to just uh, take a step back a couple of years back yes. to the beginning of you starting your journey yes. within baking and your journey as a private chef, I mean, how did that all come to be? Uh, funny story is I started out as a marketing student, okay. <laughs> always. It's usually the story of every chef is like they always ended, not in the way they ended up, you know. That's how they started. That's how they started, it's just always something else. Um, I studied marketing straight out of high school, but I was always involved with food, my, like my life. There was always food involved. I mean, you come from a Muslim family, whether it's a sad occasion, a happy occasion, it really does not matter. First question they always ask you is, what are we eating? What are we going to eat, <laughs> what honey? What's on the to, menu? What are we serving? What's on the menu? What are we going to eat? So I was always, always in the kitchen. Mm. Um, never thought that I'd end up making it my career choice. It was just something that I had a passion for that I love doing. I come from a long line of wonderful female cooks as well. All my aunts and my both my grandparents and my mom, all of them wonderful cooks in their own right. So I learned a lot from all of them. Beautiful. And then uh, I think, yes, when I was done studying, I think it just became more serious about cooking. And then uh, there was a lot of cooking shows at that time on TV. Mm. So you watch all of these things and you go, but I think I can do that myself. Yeah. I mean, why not? So then I applied to chef school. And yeah, I guess I can say that Estes Estes, I worked wow. in food media as well with... Um, our lovely chef Clem. So I've worked with him before, oh, wow. and uh, Megan as well. That looks really, yes, really beautiful. Yes, we've got some lovely snapdragons that we've added on top. And yes, edible flowers are completely edible. Please, yeah, <laughs> only yeah. use edible flowers, not anything else, because they could be poisonous mm. and they are dangerous. I love Ooh, that. But there we go. That's bon our appetit. masterpiece. Bon appetit. I'm, yeah. I'm speechless. I'm actually <laughs> looking at it, and it looks amazing. And that's the the versatility of yes. this recipe. That yeah. it's so simple and yet so elegant and so delicious. I get on that note. Some Zanzi again on social media. We want to find out about from you. It is all about the custard, so please fill in the blanks by telling us custard goes best with blank. Use that hashtag Afternoon Express. But then, Chef Aisha, what's coming up after the break? What are we cooking? After up? the break, we are then moving over to something a little bit more Easter inspired, something a little bit warmer, something good for those, you know, cold and rainy days. It is a hot cross bun pudding. Mm, very yes. excited. Stay mm. tuned. Pharmacies are on the front line of healthcare. This is Pharmacy of the Week. As a nurse, coming to Willow Way Pharmacy is such a wonderful experience because you come in here, you walk in here, the people are friendly, they greet you with a smile. You can feel the warmth when you come in here. They listen further than what you are saying to them. They listen carefully, they listen intently. They're hearing you. You're not just a number, you're part of a family. You're part of the community. And this community where this pharmacy is, is so necessary because there's so many older people that live here. There's so many retirement villages and everybody comes to Willow Way. Pharmacy of the Week, proudly brought to you by Adcock Ingram OTC, sponsors of Brave.
Welcome back to our Afternoon Express Cook-Along where we are joined, Chef Dumi and I, by our guest chef, Chef Aisha. Now you have just been walking us mm. through quite well, Ned Dumi, yes. step by step <laughs> as to how to create delicious sweet treats in our own kitchens. So next up, we've got something Easter inspired as we usher in the Easter yes. holidays. So we've got a hot cross bun bread pudding. Mm. And this is, I mean, I think in, in, in the name itself, it's there. It's warm, it's delicious, you can have it on your own, you can have it with extra custard, you <laughs> could have it with ice cream, just go to town on how you want to have that. I love that, make it your own here, yes. but also, good luck queen, because <laughs> I love myself um, when I eat hot cross buns. Yes. During Easter, it's what I take through breakfast, lunch, and supper. Yes. <laughs> Cut it open, mm. have some cheese, Ooh, eat yes. it up. My Beautiful. favorite way as well. You're Definitely right? with cheese. Mm. Always. So good luck. Mm. So yes. what am I going to be doing in this recipe? So because, I'm, girl, I got the gold. You got the gold <laughs> on there. So you're going to be working with that. I'm going to ask you to just, you know, eat hot crust bun, slice it up into uh, bite-sized portions, and then we are going to layer it into our baking dish. Mm. But before we do that, we do need to grease our baking dish with some okay. little bit of butter. Whilst I'm yeah. on the bread station, quite Okay. Happily, so what will you guys be doing on that? We side? are going to be moving over to the custard. So we are using, obviously, our Clover Classic custard. I've got about one box of this. You don't have to use, I mean, if, depending on the size of the pudding you're making. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to do that. That's a lovely sound. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be doing that. And then we're going to be adding about one cup of milk. Okay. And then also the thing that I have is one egg. So essentially you don't have to add the egg because what a bread pudding consists of the liquid is essentially making a custard first mm. with your eggs, your milk and your vanilla and whatever. So now we've gone and eliminated all of that, that with this process. fabulous box over here. But what I am adding the egg for is you know, stability. you want your yeah, stability. So an egg is going to add that coagulation and you want to make sure that once it comes out of the oven and while it's baking, it's not just a liquid mess at the bottom. Mm. It actually bakes and it soaks through um, your hot cross buns and it creates a nice little... Mm. Oh, there's no way to describe it. It's there, you yeah. know? Which makes sense. Yes. What you were saying about Balasa cutting those into equal portions, oh, yes. equal sizes. Because the one thing you do not want is when you put that, uh, pour that beautiful mixture over yes. the hot cross bun, you don't want to have soggy bottoms. No, and then you don't. Only, and then the rest of it is just like a couple of crispy yes. parts. Because the whole thing about bread pudding, the reason why people don't like bread pudding, I've come to realize, mm -hmm. is the labor that goes with it. It is. And you've yeah. eliminated We've all of elimin it. I mean, look at that. Simple, done. Custard finish. You've got the vanilla <laughs> flavor. You've got the vanilla classic, flavor. You know? Yes, you've got the creaminess from the milk and the uh, egg as well, which is an added richness. So, so on my side here as well, I've already um, added butter done. to the just pan. Put that in there. So simple. Yes. Um, and then now I just layer. You're through going the... to create some nice layers in there. Just pack it nice and tight. Okay. You want to make sure there's no gaps in there. You know, there. my producer was asking me earlier on if we bake in the hot crust buns. Guys, if you've got. Mm. If, if you really have feel like you want to, you know, knock everyone out in your neighborhood and bake up those hot cross buns, you're more than welcome to. Because yes. I feel like the fresher those hot cross buns yeah. are, the, oh, the better. better. Because those flavors of the hot mm. cross bun and the sultanas yes. and then whatever you put, choose to put in there, yes. that basically, the only problem you'll have is now you're going to have to invite the whole neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, and the smell alone, coming out of your home, you'll be having people knocking on the door, you know? asking, hi, can we come in? Exactly, yeah. exactly. But this is what the fun part about these Kind of desserts yes. are is that you can make so much of it and then everyone gets it. Everybody can have. Yeah. Oh, oh she's done. Look at her waiting for us. We're just having a fat conversation. <laughs> I love it. No, because it mm. is this kind of banter that we yes. need in the kitchen, essentially. <laughs> because this is how we learn. It's a masterclass, essentially. And a lot of us are approaching this Easter yes. season very tentatively, very afraid, <laughs> uh, making sure that we want to make it perfect, perfect. Yeah. for the entire family, yes. especially after last year's oh, Easter. Yes, a lot no, of people let's... last year spent Easter alone as we were under very strict lockdown uh, level five restrictions mm -hmm. but now we're a little bit opened up mm -hmm. so this is essentially something that we want to create those memories again yes. and making memories essentially starts in the kitchen that's what I say. Food is the one thing that connects yeah. absolutely everyone. And speaking of uh, level five lockdown was so funny as I was saying to someone that it was weird. It was just amazing actually to see 
absolutely every single one around the world yeah. connecting and sharing recipes over the same thing. I mean, banana bread, let's not even get started. There wasn't <laughs> a single person on the planet I that know. was not making banana bread. I'm telling you, and banana bread was the Beyonce, I think, yes. of baked goods <laughs> during yeah, she lockdown. She was definitely the star of lockdown. <laughs> but today we've got a different star. Yes, we've in got a loft. different star. So you've done the beautiful job of this. And so now we are going to be adding our custard. Just pour that over. And you want to make sure that you get enough that it soaks mm. into that hot crust bun. There we go. Obviously, if you're making a much bigger one, you would then be using all of your custard. Mm. Look at that. We just want to give that a swirl okay, to so make sure even. get on top here. Yeah, look at that. Because another thing that's going to happen is because you've added that egg, it's going to create that nice little egg yes, custard Yes, it's going mixture. to be a lovely custard mixture. And then because you've got the flavor of the Clover Classic oh. custard, it's basically once you take it out, it's going to be nice and crusted on the yes. top and nice and gooey. You know, and nice and soft in the middle. Budget. That's going to be a good thing. So we are going to be baking this at 180 degrees for about, well, depending on the size, I'm going to go with about half an hour okay. yeah, 30 minutes 35 minutes but always you can do a test so when it comes out of the oven this is a thing as well a little test if you're making a bread pudding don't be afraid get your hands in there so you mm -hmm. want to just press it down mm -hmm. and if you still have liquid coming up it's not done it's definitely not done but you want to have a nice little spring and bounce mm -hmm. and no egg mixture coming up then it's perfectly done so that goes straight into the oven and then yes. when it comes out essentially is that um what you use to decorate mm -hmm. that is our finished product so you can see we've got some nice toasty tops mm -hmm. which is always what you want a night that's a that's a pudding mm -hmm. it's got to have a little bit of a crispy top mm -hmm. a nice soft bottom and something that you have with everyone i mean you just get a spoon in there with your family mm. oh, and I'm you just you. You go into it. <laughs> you dig in. So Chef yes. Aisha, I mean, just, just to dive back into yes. your background as a yeah. chef. Girlfriend, you seem like you know your business. <laughs> and knowing business goes both ways in the kitchen. Yes. Not only do you need to know what happens in the kitchen, yes. but your books also have to level out and equal mm -hmm. out and balance out. Yes. So as an entrepreneur, how have you found it um, working within the, the food industry? The food industry, I mean, it's... I want to say it's a, it's a big industry, but it's also very small. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's a, there's a group of people. I mean, everybody kind of sort of knows each other. Mm -hmm. And there's a, how do I say, a camaraderie that builds. And like you said, I mean, claim it family yeah. you know, I've worked with them before and then there's somebody that knows him that's worked with him and yeah. I think your resident chef here in the kitchen as well um, yeah we I think we studied together we all went to the same school and everything so it's a very small industry in Cape Town mm. but it's a good one you mm. know it's a very good one and everybody knows each other and it's lovely I'm all for it yes. yeah Collaboration, collaboration over yes. competition. Now, Mzanzi, again, That's I have to... a good one. Right? Yes. <laughs> I should be a life coach, Joe. <laughs> so, South Africa, please just head over to our website if you want yes. the full ingredients list and recipe mm -hmm. to be baking along with us. Now, after the break, you also yes. have more sweetness, more Ooh, decadence. More. Yes. I love it. What are we making? The next one we are going to be doing is... Oh, this one is my favourite. It's a panna cotta. Mm -hmm. We've got a custard panna cotta. It is delicious. Looking forward to learning how to make that coming up. So, we've had classic fashion from Timby, classic cars, thanks Chad, and we've seen classic hairstyles. And you, Michael? <gasps> classic. A classic range from Clover. Timeless taste. Made with love by Clover.
Welcome back to the show. Now, Chef Aisha, I love the fact that you've just been helping us essentially <laughs> guide step by step as to creating sweet treats, but something for every family member. You know, accommodating yes. all different tastes and flavors. We are using the, obviously, Clover Classic custard, before I get my tongue tied <laughs> to do this. Um, we are going to be using one cup of cream with one cup of custard. Uh, on the stove, we're heating up. We're going to be talking a lot about gelatin and mm. the way that the panna cotta actually sets and then we're going to be topping it off we're keeping it with the same theme some nice berries because it's still in season yes. a little bit of chocolate a little bit of cream you know keeping just that decadence just a little bit more i love that i mean Domi, would you like to remind our viewers where they can get this recipe and ingredients list most <laughs> definitely guys just head over to afternoonexpress.co.za for the full ingredients list and all the steps on how to yeah. actually get this amazing recipe mm -hmm. aisha i love the fact cool. that you've managed to incorporate one ingredient yes. into mm -hmm. so many recipes into so many different steps because i mean we made the we made the bread pudding yes. we made the the melanin, but we you basically managed yeah. <laughs> cut out so many steps that people would be worried about yes. i have to go <laughs> make buy the ingredients you, make the yeah. custard. you're like no 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 clover classic custard it's already there like so we're cutting out so many steps <laughs> and i think that is what's so amazing is that there's a lot of recipes ice cream especially because you could totally turn this into an ice cream but more about that a little bit later <laughs> yes totally turn this into an ice cream why because the base of um ice cream is Custard. Wow. Here exactly. for it, here for it, here for it. Let's start, Let's start <laughs> with this panna cotta. Okay, so I am going to be heating up one cup of cream. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm. Nice. One cup of cream with our one cup of... Let's do Clover that with our Clover Classic Custard. And whilst you're just going in with that, I have to remind our viewers of our social media question right now, asking you to please fill in the blanks. Custard goes mm -hmm. best with blank. Use the hashtag <laughs> Afternoon Express in all of your comments. I mean, I could go on and on and on. And I think Chef Aisha here yes. has shown us quite well from the beginning of the show mm -hmm. that custard essentially can go with anything. Exactly. Exactly. Anything, <laughs> yes. And look at that, so simple. And we're just waiting for the sugar to dissolve, essentially. That's what we want into the custard and you're getting that same custardy color and yeah. out of it. simple. While you're doing that, Aisha, yeah. I also just want to touch on the gelatin yes. step that we mentioned, right? Yes. Because we need this to set, we need some type of stabilizer. Yes. In this instance, we're using gelatin. We so to start it off, because we're using granulated yeah. gelatin, we're we putting are. it into our water. Water, yes. Which is room temperature, not exactly. ice cold. Not cold, not warm, just room temperature water. Great. Sprinkle your granulated gelatin on there. And what we are going to do now is called the process called sponging or blooming. Mm. We are waiting for, it will genuinely look like a sponge yeah. when it's done um, so it, everything will just mix together and you'll get like a nice um, yellowish goldish sort of texture uh, product in that and that's when you know it's done okay so we're yes. basically gonna we're waiting wait for that. that yeah <laughs> and then how then do you incorporate that spongy type of yes. um, texture into the rest of the recipe yes. I know we'll get there but essentially I like to be prepared to no, know that's what fine expect. yes so while we're waiting for that to scald so do not boil okay. we want it just under boiling which is scalding so just when the little tiny bubbles start to form mm -hmm. then it's ready you take it off and then while we're doing that so you can already see it starting yeah. so that it's starting wow. to look like one um, mixture now at mm -hmm. the moment and then once that is done is you've got to reheat it mm -hmm. but the most important thing to do is to not boil it by all means use it in the micro uh, reheat it in the microwave but it's got to be for when I say seconds I mean watch it mm -hmm. okay. seconds once it boils it's done you cannot you need to start all over again yeah. wow. what we have also a gentler way of doing that while well, that is almost done actually we've got some hot water yeah. Um, let's put it into a bigger bowl. I can see those bubbles, that little simmer that you're talking that's about. That's exactly that. So we've got this into a bigger bowl, hot water. And then we're just waiting for... Baby yeah, let's do that baby whisk. <laughs> Maybe that would be easier. So then we're just waiting for it to melt. So you're basically yeah. t going from that uh, texture of it being like bubbles, uh, bubbles yes. in there, we're going now to a saucy t texture. It's going to yes. look like a syrup. In it's essence. going to look, yeah, like a simple syrup. It's mm. going to have that nice little golden look. I think I'm that take is... This off. Yeah, take that off. That is off. perfectly done. Yeah. I don't want to drop this in the water. <laughs> I'm holding this up here. So now is the time that you're adding the stove mixture yes. to that... Um, uh, to the gelatin. So gelatin. we're just adding the gelatin because it's got a low heat already in there That's from right. that. Our viewers can see. So luckily Look at because, that. Yeah, the mixture that you've just poured it in now it is, is also quite hot. warm. Yeah. So it's already doing the job of the it's doing the job for the gelatin. And you can see, even though it was just slightly granulated. It's completely smooth so, now. Mm -hmm. It has dissolved entirely. Um, what we've used is uh, 
granulated gelatin, but of course for anyone who wants to or knows it's much easier to work with uh, sheet gelatin. Mm -hmm. But the same process in essence would apply, Bali. Yeah. Where before you use the mm -hmm. gelatin, you need to also put it in some water, water to, to make, soak it. Yes. Yeah, you need Dissolve to soak it. it. Yeah. In, the whole idea for that then is for it to be more pliable and more usable because yes. now you can put it into your mixture, fold it into whatever mm -hmm. you're using. It also still needs to be reheated. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like Aisha said, do not boil. But the reason why I've said uh, granulated gelatin is for those who do not want to work with gelatin derived from pork or from mm -hmm. any other animal, halal gelatin does exist. You touched on that yes. and I was actually quite shocked that we've got halal gelatin yep, halal. and that was made, yes. it made sense to me like okay so if yes. I don't want to use any. Yeah if you don't, I mean, um, where most gelatin is derived from pork essentially, mm -hmm. I mean for those of us who do not want to have that. Mm -hmm. Halal gelatin does it. I mean, it's not only for Muslims, it's for anyone. Mm -hmm. You know, halal gelatin, it's always granulated. Um, or my favorite one, because this one works the best, <laughs> agar agar, <laughs> yes. So the fun thing about agar agar is you can actually boil that one. Yeah. So agar <laughs> agar is derived from seaweed. Yes. 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 So it's a lovely powder. Sure. It's a natural, natural um, gelatin that you can use. Mm -hmm. And had we used that, we could take it and we could boil it. And yeah. that has to be boiled because wow. ag boiling your agar agar is what actually causes it to yeah. set. Okay. And it sets a lot for us, and I've often found that things set at a room temperature even, mm. without it even going into the fridge mm. from using agar agar. A agar. secret weapon almost, very much like our Clover Classic custard here. Yeah, and ladies, you know, as we kept repeating the fact that we've been using this Clover Let's Classic custard this. from the top of the show very all nice the way, way in every single recipe as um, a key ingredient here. And what I love about it, it just makes things so much easier on the pocket. You know, with back mm. to school around the corner, a lot of kids already back in the classrooms, and our money just seems to be going to our families right now. So the less money that we spend in the kitchen, even better. So I love the fact that we've got Clover Classic here, mm -hmm. cutting down the different Definitely. ingredients we'd incorporate. Obviously. Thank you, Dumi, for my berries. And yeah. here, I see that is this set already. Yes. yes. You've got the lovely job She's got dressing. the finish. <laughs> yes, you've got the finished product. So you can do as you please with that. And I just want to okay. touch on the texture of when it's done. Mm. So you can see there's still a little bit of wobble in it. Mm. It's not completely set as if you would have with a store-bought gelatin yeah. packet or jelly packet. You know, you get that stiff, kind of rubbery texture that you get yeah. usually from store bought so would jelly. It be, um, let me show the viewers this. Yeah, yes. a nice little, a nice little wiggle, shake. wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jason wiggle, will be wiggle, proud. Wiggle. <laughs> um, a nice jiggle, as you say, but not also completely set. So when mm. you uh, spoon it up, you're going to see you're going to get that nice creamy melt richness. It melt, yeah. genuinely does melt in your mouth. Um, what I love also about having you ladies in the kitchen, you know, Mzansi, when you do look at that recipe sometimes, sometimes you wish it would just jump out and speak <laughs> to you and say, you know, this is why we do things yes. a certain way. And this is to make sense yes. of things, you know. And it's been so valuable having mm. you see, just watching them kind of banter in the kitchen about mm. all things cooking just sends me to the sky and back because yes. this is what makes our cook along very yes. different. Being able to talk about things, yes. explain things yes. so all of the viewers know essentially why we do what we yeah. do. <laughs> I mean, you get to ask the questions that I mean versus reading something off yeah. the internet or, and there's things that you don't understand or you yep. want to know about someone's here and you can ask the questions that you're dying to ask. I am here food. for it well I'm that overloading our panna cottas with berries because I love no, myself wait, a no. berry. <laughs> you do. I have you it. Do. I'm a gorge. very berry princess. Well Mzansi again you already know it is I'm sending you all over mm -hmm. to our website because <laughs> this is essentially a recipe you would love to try and I encourage you to mm -hmm. try but coming up Ladies, mm -hmm. what are we going to be making? We're going to be finishing off on a cold note. <laughs> on a cold note for today. And like I touched on earlier on turning the custard into a bit of an ice cream, that's kind of where we're going with this, but a much simpler version that's kid-friendly. This is a good one to get the kids involved if they want to make their own. You can, you know, turn up the different flavors, different textures. That's what's coming up next. <laughs> well, the party's already started, so join us yes. for the break. <laughs>
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Mzansi, we are at the end of our Afternoon Express cook-along, but we're keeping it sweet today, keeping it consistent here with our guest chef, Chef Aisha. Now, I'm very much looking forward to these popsicles because, girl, you've been speaking mm -hmm. them up <laughs> from the beginning of yes. the show. So I'm very excited about these tips, tricks, and little um, hacks that yes. you've got for us. Cool. So, like you said, we've got some popsicles, and we're going to be making custard popsicles. Mm -hmm. So for this one, we're going to be lots of cream happening here today. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to be whipping some cream into some custard, but good for this one is it doesn't have to be stiff peak, so it's not a bit of an arm workout. Hey, we just want, in <laughs> Yo, my luck. We just want to incorporate some aeration. That's all that we want. And then the cream with the cast, that's going to give you that kind of texture that, that ice cream has, that rich, mm. that creamy, that silkiness, but without the, all the effort. Mm. Here for so it. simple. So here for yes. it. And you also have different stations going on. Yeah. Um, I see I'm on the fruity station. Love it. <laughs> uh, very much in alignment with the brand. But <laughs> on the side, what do you have? I've got some granola and some chocolate. I'm also just going to shave up a bit more chocolate here. <laughs> so we're basically trying to show people that just as cl uh, Clover Classic uh, custard is so versatile, mm -hmm. the fillings that you put into your popsicles can be just as versatile. You can keep, keep it You can keep it fruity like yes. you're doing on your station. You can add a bit more texture in terms mm -hmm. of the, the granola that you add in to your, your um, popsicle. You can yeah. add anything. Yeah. We're adding berries. You can even add um, caramel sauce you if can, you yeah. want to. You can, Guys go you to can take town. it anywhere. Okay, so on my side, um, when we are, we do speak about the fruit station, mm -hmm. we're just speaking about the berries again, just duplicating the same berries. Essentially, if you had any leftovers from your panna cotta recipe, here yes. they can go into that. And I also have a pear. Mm -hmm. Now, girl, these look like very heavy ingredients yes. for a popsicle. But, I mean, you could do whatever you want. The sky the limit genuinely mm. with a popsicle if you don't want to go the cream texture as well we can substitute the cream for a juice so like a nice neutral mm. juice maybe an apple juice mm -hmm. or a fruit juice whatever you want all works well with the custard mm. and then instead of getting a creamy texture you're going to end up with a nice like good ice lolly a nice summer mm. oh, feeling yeah. yes I like and that. the best part about this is get the kids involved because who else is going to be eating this anyway? Exactly. You know, you know uh, I always like to say if you want to enjoy it, you have to put in some yes, effort in true. making it. So this is essentially how everyone can get invested in the meal. So when it comes to the fruit, do you want me to chop it up? Um, that and would then... be entirely up to you. Okay. This is going to be your popsicles. If you want to, you know, slice them up and you want to be able to see the little, that would actually be a very good idea. Okay, let's try that. A nice thin slice of, of pear, the whole pear. You can put it on the side of your mold once it freezes you'll be able to see it ah. once you pull it out you'll be able to see it. and then you know that that's got pear in it love it uh, berries as well same thing do as you please so Aisha I just want to mm -hmm. ask if perhaps you want to tell the viewers exactly why you're putting air into this specific mixture yes you mentioned that it can yes. be an icicle where mm -hmm. ice lolly type situation where you mm -hmm. add the juice yeah. and add the custard but in this instance what is the reason for aerating the cream for this particular recipe so the aerating the cream for this is what's going to stop little ice um, icicles forming. Yeah. So I don't know if you've ever, when I was younger, I used to try because I always thought frozen yogurt was just frozen yes, yogurt. I know. <laughs> so that I always, was me too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, exactly that. So what we used to do is just, you know, unmold your yogurt or put it, mm. stick it in the freezer, hoping for the best. And when it came out, you were, you were confused as to yeah. why it split, why there was yeah. icicles mm. in it. And, that. and it's because there's no aeration. Yes. So if you wanted, I mean, you totally could do... Um, a frozen yogurt with just yogurt, you actually, but then you do need to churn it. Yeah. So what happens is you're in a cold bowl and you're turning it constantly. So what that does is it breaks up very slowly yeah. all the icicles um, and that's what gives you the smooth texture. So that's what the churning is. So in essence, yes. you are pre-churning it. Yes, this, sense, yeah, this is basically what it does. It's pre-churning. Yeah. So even if you were doing a traditional ice cream with making the custard from scratch, you would then need to take that. Mm -hmm. You would need to churn it. So it's a whole process. And what we've done here now, is just politely taking all of that out. How your entire cook along is a hack in itself. Yes, it's I love, basically I'm that. all about that. <laughs> yeah. I'm probably one of the laziest, <laughs> I think my husband will agree with me, yeah? one of the <laughs> laziest chefs <laughs> that you can find. And wherever there's an easy way out, guarantee I'm going to take it. Shortcuts well, short all the way. way. Shortcuts you know, all the way. I'm just the, the way. type of person to say as long as it tastes the same, I am exactly. there. Exactly. So I love the fact here that especially as we are gearing up closer, slowly mm -hmm. um, getting towards the Easter holidays. Mm. Whether you celebrate Easter or not, yes. it's just all about spending time with, with the, the family here. Yeah. So we have got, you, I don't know if you can see, mm. it's quite, it's not 
whipped, but it's thick. Yeah. So there's very. still some hold in that, which is exactly what you want. So I am just going to make a mess now here over there quickly. And I'm going to be giving you half. Okay. Stunning. Some of that. So this is Let's where the just, fun stuff. Yes, and you're going to be doing the, the good stuff, the chocolate <laughs> side. And then Peles is going to be doing... Girl, I am this not, to you. I'm not even fighting it. I am more than happy with having uh, <laughs> the, this, the, the fruity option. side. <laughs> so as you can see, South Africa, yes. just as Chef Aisha showed me, I just thinly mm. sliced my pears. Mm. I put that there because I want to see it. I want to know see it. what, what you flavor. Eat it. Yes. Absolutely. And then I've got the berries here. I started with the strawberries, a little bit of raspberry. Mm -hmm. And then I went with um, a little bit more of a heavy black, black. Uh, blueberry and raspberry mixture oh, so there. So you're going to pour that into your jar just because it's going to be easier to get that in there. Look at that nice thick. Wow, that consistency is everything. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to pour that. Just in, in case I make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> and then just, wow, yeah. just like that. And as it yeah moves down, I don't know if they can see, as it moves down. And fills in the gaps. It will fills in um, all the little gaps right there. Oh, I suppose that's why the air bubbles yeah, that kind of because it's cover. moving yeah it's moving all of that down and people and might be wondering why we don't have any of the popsicle sticks in there if you've got the covering for it that's great you can go yes. go in with it now but there's a little there's a little trick to that tell us why <laughs> yes so what we, <laughs> we <laughs> kind of getting a little it's too fine, excited by Lisa. i mean if it's not messy then i mean i don't what know what are you doing, doing. <laughs> exactly so the trick with this is uh if you don't have a holder for the top if you just pop the sticks in right now, it's going to move around and mm. whatever. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that, we're going to put it in the freezer for about a half an hour or to an hour first. So you see, what you want is just that little frozen bit to form just yes. on the outside. Mm -hmm. Then you can uh, lightly stick your stick in, stick your stick in, into, <laughs> into your mold. And that will ensure that the stick stays straight up and it doesn't move yeah. around. And then you can pop it back in the freezer until it's finished set. Wow, Sub iconic. Stuff. I love it all, Chef Aisha. Oh, I mean, this is really pretty. I mean, if I do say so myself, <laughs> if I do. It's, uh, and <laughs> essentially here, you can just play. You can do whatever you mm -hmm. want, whatever makes sense to you and your family at home. Add that, minus mm -hmm. that, but essentially just keep it consistent with that Clover Classic Castor. Yes. Mm. Now, Domi, how's it going on mm. your station? Are you finishing off that queen? Girl, you know me, like me and playing around. Like, I'm out here thinking, how can I make this look like <laughs> an art piece? Yes. You know? And that <laughs> is going what for. Food is as exactly. well. Food is art. Correct. You know, so that's what I'm just doing. I'm almost done with mine. I'm, I've added some of my granola for the Ooh, texture. It's really healthy. <laughs> I love it. I'm here for it. I'm very much here for it. I mean, Dumi, I hope that you have and keep that creativity going mm -hmm. because coming up, I've got a fun, exciting game for yourself and Aisha. <laughs> yep, I'll be getting involved as well. Don't worry about it. We're all under challenge here today. Yes. And essentially, we're giving a South Africa an opportunity to walk away with 50 50,000 Rand. Wow. Now that's a whole lot of money, honey. Yes. And I want to find out how you would use it. But there's mm -hmm. a little more tricks and twists to the game. You know me, I can't keep it simple. <laughs> so are you ready to keep it creative? Yes, let's, let's do, do it, girl. <laughs> We're going to be doing all of that whilst enjoying our beautiful desserts coming up. Oh.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express, where we are ready to dive in on all these sweet treats. Now, ladies, let's get dishing up these oh, delicious yes. desserts whilst I dish on our fun game. Now, after all of that cooking, it's time for a little fun. I mean, you may have noticed the exciting Easter hand kits on the Clover Classic Custard Packs that comes in five colors for your kids to collect. But the kids can't have all the fun to themselves, so here's a little one for you. There are 10 golden bunnies valued at 50,000 rand each up for grabs when you buy a Clover Classic promo pack. There's so much fun to be had with 50,000 rand. So trust me, Mzansi, you do not want to miss out. But speaking of having fun, we're about mm -hmm. to play a fun game called the Word Sneak Game. Now, ladies, mm -hmm. this is essentially how the game works. A word will come up on the screen and we will each have to incorporate this word when it comes, of course, your turn, into a flowing conversation. Now, the conversation has to make sense, ladies. We <laughs> always say that. And let's go. But this is essentially mm -hmm. how I think I want to play the game. Okay. Since we are giving away 50,000 rand. Yes. Okay. Now, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Whenever the word comes on board, we will have to incorporate that word, but by telling me how you would spend your 50,000. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, no pressure. <laughs> no, no, I'm ready to go. Yeah. So I will start off as Games Master. Okay. You know, ladies, if I had 50,000 Rand, I would want to spoil my family. I would want to spoil my family in the most classic way by buying okay. them a brand new house. Oh, stunning. Or at least putting a down payment on the house. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me, what would you do for 50,000 Rand? What would I do with 50,000 Rand? I'd probably, um, I'd probably put it down, put like uh, some money away for my child savings. I mean, I have no clue what exactly I'd do, but I think I'd probably put it away for my child savings. Actually, I don't know what you would, what do you, what, what I would do? do? Ooh, uh, what I would, I'm very selfish. Um, <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I would definitely go on vacation. Okay. You know, it's something island, sipping on the, sitting on an island on a beach, dessert, having some custard. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my type <laughs> of lifestyle. That sounds delicious. Yes. I mean, I know I have to just getting my family a house isn't enough. You yeah. know, sometimes mm. you gotta double up. I mean, <laughs> you gotta double up. You gotta buy them everything <laughs> but the kitchen sink because we've got quite a sturdy kitchen sink already. Oh, at that's home. good to know. So I just want to throw everything into that house. Do me. Yeah. You are actually behaving like a gold bunny, yes. Melissa. It's over you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a golden that's bunny. A golden bunny. <laughs> Does that make sense, South Africa? You don't know. A gold bunny is classic. It's something mm -hmm. that you find over yes. Easter. You have something that's uh, you know fun and yes. exciting. It's a seasonal thing. So you you are actually acting like uh, you know. Look you know. at her trying to push the envelope on the English here. <laughs> <laughs> I just take my hat off to you, girl. Thank you. Because, again, you've nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm over you guys. I'm, I'm really, I'm, I don't know what else to do yeah. now. But like Bali said, if I won 50,000 Rand, I mean, people would probably wonder what the heck is going on with my life. They'd probably mm. start asking themselves, yes. did she is something? Did she win something? I mean, where they smoked this fire, they'll mm. probably see, ah! This girl has definitely, something has something changed about her life. Yes. I mean, 50,000 Rand is a game changer. Mm -hmm. So essentially, that's why I understand you, mm -hmm. Dumi. That 50,000 Rand will definitely make a huge mark huge. on everyone's yes. life. Obviously, so you know yes. what, Dumi? On that note, with it's very <laughs> good fire. Congratulations, girl. No, that was fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, tell us some Zanzi. Who yeah. do you think made Ooh. the best flow in our <laughs> word sneak game? And better yet, get into the spirit of Easter by collecting all five Easter hunt kits and finding that golden bunny for your chance to win 50,000 Rand. Mm -hmm. Remember, Mzansi, T's and C's do apply and can be found on clover.co.za. Now, ladies, after mm -hmm. that word association <laughs> game, as much as 50,000 Rand is sweet, I'm ready to get into these sweet <laughs> treats as well. Definitely. I'm already having some of this um, lollipop. Yes. Oh, girl. Mm. And don't you love that it's not as sweet? It's, it's rich, it's mm -hmm. creamy, but it doesn't have that overly sweetness that sometimes an ice cream can have. Mm. This is what I'm also enjoying about the panna cotta as well. Mm. It's nice and creamy. Yes. It's so delicious how you incorporated that uh, Clover Classic yes. custard in there. It just makes so much sense with the berries, you know, and the cream. Mm. It's so light and so it's airy, but it's just so delicious. It's not exactly sweet what it is it should be. I love exactly it. what it's it is. not too much. Be. Let me get yes. in on that action. Mm. Mm. But uh, I saw you also took some mm. of that bread pudding. Can, may I please ask you to oh, dish yes. just a little bit for me over here? It is. This is delicious. Everything. 
that you a want a good to pudding right. to be. It's got that, sorry. I mean, that. Chef Aisha, you were saying earlier that you are just a family member. I could mm -hmm. say a distant family member. <laughs> you've been loving us from afar. It's been such a pleasure having you in the loft, you know, Always. bringing in that family love here. Mm -hmm. And essentially, that's what the holidays are all about. So Sometimes people that you haven't seen in a long time come together mm -hmm. over food, conversation, and of mm -hmm. course, the spirit of just yes. love and giving back. That's what this mm -hmm. is all about. The mm -hmm. flavors in this are absolutely delicious. So I mean... Much. You have outdid yourself. I said that this panna cotta, eh, mm -hmm. good luck, because uh, we've made quite a few panna cottas in the kitchen um, here on Afternoon yes. Express. But what I love about this panna cotta, mixed in with the berries, mm -hmm. is absolutely delicious. The creaminess, yes. but that tartness coming from the berries, mm -hmm. iconic. So let me ask, how does this panna cotta fare? Mm -hmm. I would say... <laughs> In comparison to the others. 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay, that was good. Thank Do I you. sound biased in <laughs> I would say 10 out of 10. I'm glad to hear that. I wouldn't have it any other way. I definitely agree. Mm. And the other thing I'm loving about your bread pudding, the, the, the spices that are in the yes. hot cross bun work so well with the yes. creaminess of the clover custard. Oh, girl, dish me some of that. <laughs> it's just, it's, you it's know, like, it's comfort. That's exactly what it is. It's like a hug. It's comfort. From the inside, it is divine. Oh, it is delicious. It's, so it's nice heavy. and crispy on the top. It's, it's got those little like crispy parts nice. on the top and then that nice yes. gooey center. And then the flavor of the spices yes. with the vanilla custard in the clover classic custard. Exactly. And like speaking on the level. gooeyness, that's exactly what the egg did. Mm. By the addition of the egg, that's what it made it. It combined it together, mm. uh, coagulated, if you will. Mm. You know, did its thing in the oven. Essentially, it stopped it from being just a little bit of a wet mush mm. at the bottom. Girl, mm. coagulation, coagulation, <laughs> miragulation. Yes. This is amazing. That is just the English word I want to use here. Everything that you have discussed and the, uh, the tips and tricks and the hacks, mm -hmm. essentially, in the kitchen that you fed us is absolutely coming together in the most beautiful way. I love myself a bread pudding. <laughs> and also, I did say yes. that I'm a huge fan of hot cross buns. So this is what I'm all about. Yeah. And I know that we haven't dived into that cake, but I'm about oh. to tear it up, honey, <laughs> as soon as we're done here. But again, Chef Aisha, just all the best. Thank we're going to be so, paying so very much. close eye on you as a coming up chef in the game. <laughs> Thank you so much. Do me. You already know. No, my, my mouth is full. I've enjoyed all of this, Aisha. This is really amazing. And I love the fact that you were able to take one ingredient and show yes. us how versatile it is. Yes. And I think that's exactly what South Africa needs right now. They yep. need inspiration on how can I make my bucks go longer? And this is yes, exactly what that's that, that recipe it. or these recipes yes. are about. Well, here's to taking Clover Classic Custard all the way up. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mzanti, for joining us, making my day every day just by tuning in. But from us here on Afternoon Express, CT, good night, stay safe, and happy eating. Goodbye. Bye. Make the most of glorious summer with your picnic favorites. Made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.